Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Unreal World. Um, as you can see, cabin is nearly done. I saved a little bit of the work to do on camera. It's actually been a while in game. Um, I think the last episode we were still in the late seed time month. We are now in late fallow month, so it's been pretty much a little over a month um, of building the cabin. You can see our, our plants over here are growing. Our little garden is doing well. Um, our birds are still in their, in their things. They haven't escaped yet, which has actually been <laughs> more annoying than anything, but, um, off camera, I just really wanted to get the, get the stuff done. I've got pretty much everything prepped, um, to continue on the cabin. So this episode, I just want to work on finishing that up. And, um, while I was off camera, I accidentally finished the source of livelihood, um, uh, which we call it. A game course um so we're on the next one no man's land but we're not going to worry about that right now because we have other things also our food situation is a little bit different now if you look um we've gone through about half of our food in building the cabin it lasted i estimated this food would last about two two and a half months and um i believe the more effort you're putting into things um the more you have to eat so like doing something like building a camera versus just running around hunting, you're going to need more nutrition. Um, I believe that's how it works in game. Obviously, that's how it works in real life. Um, I did... I didn't actually double check this. Okay, I did not install it properly. I did download the mod um, to reinstall it, uh, but haven't finished doing that. So I'll do that in between episodes. I'm going to include the link to the mod pack um, it's actually a collection of other mods um, put together, and um, I had it, some of the mods are Reigns, there's Reigns Clothing Mod and Reigns um, Ironworking Mod, but there's some other, other mods in there, and I can just check by, yep, so we don't have all the mods in yet. Um, cause I just kind of dumped them in and, and didn't really pay attention. I forgot to double check before I started recording cause I am trying to get a bunch of stuff done today. Um, I'm taking a business law class right now and it's kicking my butt. So I'm trying to get ahead on the YouTube stuff. Um, so let's get going on our building. So we, our door is going to go right here, but we're not worry about that quite yet. I wanted to show you how the corner pieces are, are made. So let's go ahead and build our wooden building. So we want our Southeastern corner to go here. And this is actually a pretty decently sized cabin. Um, it isn't really necessary to make it that. Um, I wanted to cancel. It isn't really that necessary to make it this big, but I, as you know, if you watch the Stardew Valley Let's Play, and if you don't watch it, shame on you, you should go watch it. Ah, there's the tracks that they told me. Um, huh. Tempting. They're an hour old though. It'd take us a while to catch up. It is tempting. I mean, you might still. Eh, day old. Ooh, those ones look fresh. Nope, day old. Yeah, we're we're busy. There's the uh, tracks. These are human tracks from our visitor. That was kind of useless. I didn't want to give him any of our tools. He Maybe he would give it back at the end, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, at least it wasn't something I wanted to risk. So, all right, let's rest. And we're going to try to finish this before we go to sleep. And we, we did. So we can actually sleep inside now. And it starts raining, we're fine. Um, I think we saw something in the distance. What could we have possibly seen? So the nice thing is we've cleared out a lot of this land. I'm going to build a pen down here in this kind of square area for our um, our cow. And then when we clear this out, we'll put another pen over here or something. Um, I do, I, I as I was building, I was, I was definitely thinking about um, my plans for what I wanted to do for the for the setup of our camp here, um, we want to get it a little defendable. 
I I I have had a NERP come close to my camp camp and I've I've had them come into my camp while I was gone. Um plus we'll set up traps, uh stuff. We want to get a trap line going anyways for whatchamacallit. Okay. So I didn't finish we need to carve some logs here. I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea what the process is like. Um, it's a lot of chopping down trees. I, it's six logs per section and there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So take 19 times 6, 60, almost 120 logs to build this. Um, yeah, it, it takes a while. I don't, I don't mind it. Um, it is a little tedious, um, but when you, when you have your food set up, you can do it one of two ways. You could work on it a little bit at a time in between hunting trips and whatnot. I like to wait until I have my food situation pretty, pretty good stock so I can just bang it out and get it done um that's how i personally like to do it we are ready to drop i'm gonna just drink in the morning because i'm being lazy we saw something move in the distance well hopefully it's not a nerp half the time we have really good eyesight i don't know how we see something move in the distance when we're sleeping but oh well um, it's likely that forest reindeer is going to be hanging out around here. Usually when I have one show up in camp like that, any large game show up in camp, they do tend to hang out, hang out a bit. Um, yeah. Okay. Look, we've got all of our walls. I didn't put any windows in for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I was just being lazy. We can always tear the, tear down and put windows in later. Um. And two, it gives you line of sight outside beyond your door. And if you can't see out, you're not as likely to wake up in the middle of the night. I, I don't know if that's entirely true, but I never usually put windows in. We might. We might go back and um, add a window here or something down the line. Um, but for now, I kind of, yeah, wasn't too worried about it. Um, so we, to put the door in, we need some wooden boards we have a bunch of boards laying around but they're all inferior boards so i don't want to use them so let's go ahead and chop down a tree we're vigorous thankfully um i've had really good luck with getting good boards i don't know if the game developer um if they tweaked it so it's easier to get higher quality boards normally when i play um or in every other playthrough i usually get like 10 inferior boards six poor boards and four fine boards or whatever um it's not usually this successful so that being said oops i didn't mean to pick them up i wanted to hold them oh that being said we may be making some fox traps out of boards um to use for trading so that may be in our future. Okay, we're just gonna leave them there. We're gonna make building, and we are going to put a door right there. We only needed a board. No, we, we needed more than that. We needed eight. All right, guys, we have a cabin. Um, we just have to finish the floors here. So let's whip that out really fast. So, um, we're gonna rest first. Yes. Okay, we did build a floor. I had a, a scary thought that we were trying to put a door there, but it probably wouldn't have let us anyways. Okay, let's try that again. Oops. Ah, I can't. Can't do what I want to do. Oh, I was hoping we'd finish this today, but we're totally not going to. Nope, it's not going to let me zoom out. Normally, I would just zoom out and drink the water from the um, map tile, but 
because we've got things in our trap. It, it's, there's an active event going on and we can't zoom out without walking away. Just really frustrating. Okay, let's go to sleep. It's so nice to just be able to go inside and go to sleep. We we're almost out of bear cuts again. Build something inside a building. Here we go, guys. We are finis, finito. I don't know if that's actually the legit thing. Oh, whoops. I just realized I forgot to start a timer, so I opened my iPad and realized I missed a phone call from my mama last night, um, which makes me feel bad. I always feel bad when I miss phone calls. I'd accidentally left my phone in the car. Um, oh, we, we had leftover boards. I must have got too many. So I guess we didn't have to top down that tree. That's good. Okay. We'll use those boards. All right. Um, so one last thing we have to do here, guys. We need to build ourselves a fireplace. And I want to put it right in front of my guy here. So it takes 35 stones. I ran around and collected those um, right before I started recording. And there's our fireplace. So we have a completely very very bare but completely functional cabin and we can now smoke meat um if we if we get our cords um which obviously i don't have the the mod properly installed um so i'm not going to go hunting quite yet this episode there are a few other things that we can do though i want to check on those lake reeds we are out of food um, to see if we can fill in our food here. Let's, and let's take stock of our food really fast. So we have 100, 108, 200, um, plus our 2200. We have roughly 230 cuts of meat. Um, when I was building a cabin, I was eating roughly 10 a day. Um, if we continue at that rate, we'll only, this will only last us another month. Um, and I think now that we're not doing such heavy labor, there's a chance it'll last us maybe an extra week. Um, but I am not sure about that. I'm just kind of investigating this right now. Yep, these are all pretty old. Um, okay, here's some heather, I believe. Uh, quirky grasses. They're growing. I'm just checking out the area for any berries. So I zoom out. Um, there's a chance we'll run into that. Oh, there's a feather down there. There is a slight chance that we will run into an animal down here. But, um, oh. Gosh, those are really close. I wish I would have found those when I was looking. I went a ways away. Okay, here's some berry bushes. I'm going to check on these. Two crowberry shrubs. Okay, guys. Berry season is here. Which means Whitney gets really obsessive about running around and picking berries. Um, this will this can stretch our, our meat supplies out quite a bit. Um, berries don't have a lot of nutrition, but usually I found if I eat one cut of meat, one, one piece of dried meat... Um, and the rest in berries or other other f foods. Um, you can usually keep your nutrition up to a bunny. You maybe one day out of the week you have to eat a little extra meat. Um, but this could stretch our this could pretty much stretch our food out to double the amount. Now I'm not too worried about not you know we're we're gonna get more meat before we run out of food for sure. Um, but remember we we also need to be saving up for winter. Um, we're in late fallow month. I don't, um, third week before midsummer point. So we're almost halfway through summer. Um, and we want to, I want to have a trap line up by the end of fall because towards the end of fall, we can start drying meat again and we'll still get animals in the trap line for the first few weeks of winter before that kind of slows down. So we could actually get most of our, our winter meat dried and stuff at the beginning of winter, late fall. Um, so I'm only going to, you know, I'm not going to worry too much about getting any meat right yet. I mean, we can smoke it now and that's good, but smoking it does not last nearly as long as, as the rest of it. 
Okay, here's the other nice thing about berries. Oops, I don't want to build a fire. Um, if you see, it takes our thirst down as well. So I usually, that's what I usually do. I get um, your hunger bar down to where you can't see it and then eat one piece of meat. And it should keep it at abundant, but it takes quite a few berries. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of this for the next few episodes. Um, which I apologize if you guys absolutely hate it. You let me know, and I will do some of it off camera. I don't want to do too much off camera after, um, from this point on. Oh, you know the other thing I want to look at is our skills. I forgot to do this. So our timber craft skill has gone up. If you notice, our agriculture skill went up a little bit as well as did our building skill. So that also was a result of our off camera work. These are some different. Cloud bram cloudberry bramble. Oh, so those ones aren't ripe yet. For growing crooked grasses. I think that's heather, but I don't know because they'll change the sprites um, when you can't recognize them, and then they'll change once you do recognize them. Okay, so we were gonna look for our light greeds that we wanted to get. So let's keep looking along here. What's that? Growing bog flowers. Interesting. The graphics um, are so different, so I haven't seen a lot of these plants with the new graphics, which is exciting. Oop, nope, oh, there's some more ripe berry bushes. I get those. Um, sometimes you'll run into a bear. You'll run into some berry bushes that have been eaten. This world is um, persistent, so things are going on in the world around us, and for instance, we could we could go to a village and find out it had complete, been completely destroyed by nerf warriors. Um, if they're nice nerf warriors, they'd leave all the stuff for us if they were going to do that. But <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. So yeah. Oh, I'm ready to drop. It's early morning. Wow, my schedule is completely off. Ooh. All right. Let's go ahead and just sleep out here in the open. And it started raining. Of course it did. I don't feel like building a shelter. Um, so I guess uh, I'm going to throw this out to you guys too. Um, my plans, as I said, uh, I want to get a trap line up and running. I want to do some more hunting. And I want to do gathering of this. These sort of things. I'm not going to do too much of this. Um... A couple days of gathering berries is usually enough to last um, as long as they'll be viable. Oh wait, we can go to sleep. Man, our sleep schedule is going to be all sorts of screwed up. Maybe we can limp through today since it's going to be raining. So uh, what do you guys want me to do next? Um, let's see, wait, I gotta, I gotta double check something really fast. So, today. So I'm recording this on Wednesday, and this video will be coming out tomorrow, Thursday. Um, so I'd have to do all of my recording and editing for the weekend Friday before I go to work on this series. So, yep, I think that's doable. So I am going to have you guys let me know what you want me to do next. Do you want me to start on the trap lane? Um, do you want me to... Another thing I want to do is get some fishing nets built. Or trade for some fishing nets so we could go active hunting um, and shore up our meat supply with a couple a couple different um, a couple different hides we can get hides and meat to trade and we'll trade smoked meat um, as well because it's not gonna last as long but we'll, we'll keep half of it you know trade half of it whatever anyway um, so we could go trade for fishing nets which we, we will need at some point so we could go active hunting we could work on a trap line or we could run around collecting stuff to fill in uh and and then do that so go ahead and let me know in the comments or if you have a if you have another idea of something you think we should work on i know you guys want me to trade for dogs i'm not really feel like we would have to i want to get the trap line set up before we do that um you already should have done is taking the boat oh well we, yeah, I'd like to get the trap line set up before we trade because then we can get better um, hides. It won't take as much work 
to get the things traded. I want to trade for a couple more cows. We can start milking cows. And I want to trade some rye grains and stuff too to fill out our food because then you can you can make porridges and stuff like that and that is helpful as well so you guys let me know in the comments what you want me to do next for this episode like I said this is kind of what we're going to be doing I'll do some more interesting stuff here in a little bit um I get super distracted and I just like every berry bush I see I just want to collect um but what I'm just going to collect this a little bit more and then what we have should be it's late night, we're extremely tired, and it's not raining. Ooh, we need to go, we need to get back to our cabin. Okay, back on our little quest, look up here. I can't remember where we saw the lake reeds. I'm pretty sure it was up this direction. I think it was over here. So we're almost to where we saw them, I believe. It would have been faster to fast travel over the map, but... Yes, we want to step in the water because we don't want to go around those. Yes. I should change the config so we don't ask, but with the changes in water temperature until I get to the point where I remember that. Where did those lake reeds go? Um we're cool so I don't want to walk in the water anymore for a little bit this is probably not no okay we're gonna zoom out maybe they were down here there's some blackberry bushes they're not ripe for a while I think it goes it usually goes um, cloudberries and then, or those were blueberry bushes, blueberry strawberries. Ah, here we go. Harvested after over a month. Okay, so we still have a month. All right, well, we did get some berries, so that's good. Um, let's go back up here. And you'll see how much this actually stretches our, our food. It actually stretches it quite a bit. We're still a bit tired. I think if we do some light work, we can wait to do anything else. Let's see. We only have three firewoods here. Yeah, I'm going to kill those grouse soon, guys. I just don't want to deal with them quite yet. Two, six firewoods. Okay. We do need to make some more firewood and we do need to make a trap line we're gonna need fences so we're gonna have to cut down all these small trees I might go to a village they tend to just cut down the big trees though uh, but I'm just trying to think of what I want to work on at the moment um, my plans were to work on building more traps and stuff um, and getting more um, primitive cords made, but obviously can't do that because I was a space cadet and forgot to do the thing. So, what do we have? Let's get our stuff moved inside. What do we have up here? Um, I guess we could work on a fence. Let's work on building a fence for our poor little cow there. Uh, wait, let's drop this in a corner. Okay, so what don't we need right now? With the... We can't make enough quick out of that. Okay, so with that uh, reindeer nearby... I'm not going to... I'm going to keep my bow on me just in case. I'm not going to wield it. Um, but I am going to keep it on me for the time being. Let's cut down these trees and finish clearing out this area. And then I will start making um, stakes so we can make fence. Uh, no. Okay. Now... How many are there? 
for. So we're going to make lumber wooden stakes four. And I think we get eight stakes per uh, tree. Okay, yep, so 32 decent stakes. Uh, no. And we're just going to build it right up to the edge here. So, this is, oh, we're going to build a fence with our wooden stakes. This is a pretty straightforward process. Use up those three right there. No. Super exciting stuff right now. We are ready to drop. Ready oh, wait, we're in the rain. Yeah, apparently, if we were tired enough, it didn't matter. Okay, come inside and sleep. And yeah, our sleep schedule is all screwed up. I'll work on getting that fixed next episode. I think that we should be fine for this episode. Okay. Let's keep working on our fence. Ooh. Um, okay. Make building fence. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it around this whole thing. I think I'll just put all the animals in one pen. Cause then I only have to trap. Oops, no. Then I only have to um, put traps around this to protect them. Because other animals will come and eat your animals. I've had it happen. I had a um, pig, I think it was. I had a couple pigs and a... Um, they call it something different in the game. I can't think of what it's called right now, but it was a wolverine, essentially. That's what they call them in, in my area where I live. Um, and I had a wolverine come and kept attacking my pigs. I ended up having to butcher them all. But, of course, I couldn't do anything with their hide and make any leather or anything like that. It was, it was very sad. And, um... Huh. We had a visitor. Somebody visited us last night. Told you he'll hang around, and one of these times he's going to come up here, and we're going to be, um, we are going to be, not prepared, because it'll probably still be a surprise, but we'll, we'll be awake and outside and have our bow and arrows on us, and we will kill him. Um, or we will set up a couple traps, and he'll end up dying that way. The other thing that's nice about berries is I don't have to run over and get um, get any water. Okay. So building fences are kind of boring too. It's a lot faster than the house though. Um, which is why I'm willing to do this stuff on camera as long as you guys are okay with it. And luckily this isn't a super um, demanding thing that we're doing right now. So you can also trap if you like were to put a pit trap down. I think that there is a way to trap animals in um, a fenced in area. I'm not really sure how, but I have a feeling I remember that you could do that. I could be totally talking out of my butt right now, though. Which I never do, right? Uh, no. My cow's bellowing. It's okay, you won't have to be tied up much longer. Poor cow's been tied up there for months. Real life, not a good plan. But, uh, didn't really have a choice in the game. So... Lots of grouse. We could be we could be catching a lot more. Um, we'll put up some 
traps around our fields. I don't know if they will eat your crops, but I this I have a suspicion that they could. I don't I don't want to risk it. More or less, so I plan on just making sure that it's not a possibility. We should also put a fence up around that, because I wouldn't be surprised if um big game comes in and eats eats your crops if you're not careful. So that's something we can do as well. Okay. Well, we've got enough. We can work on this a little bit more. I forgot what I was doing there. And... Oh, it's deep outside. Um, we'll even, let's kill a little bit more of our energy before we go to bed. So we'll fix our sleep schedule right here. I want to be very, at least very tired. Oh. Fatigued. For a second, how I wanted to do that. It's midnight and we're ready. Okay, let's go sleep. And we're gonna call it there. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, sorry, it was kind of boring today, just doing a lot of housekeeping and collecting berries and whatnot. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Ooh. And we just ate berries. That's okay. So notice we just ate berries and now our nutrition is always well fed. We'll fix that in the next meal. Um, but anyways, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye!